What's up my meatballs, it's Aaron at Mar. Welcome to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie, originally for the Nintendo 64 and now for Xbox Live Arcade, upscaled in HD. Let's go ahead and hop right in and get started with this amazing, amazing game. Alright, I've already got a save file all emptied out, so let's go ahead and press A and get started. Ding pot, ding pot, by the bench. Who is the nicest looking wench? Why, it's Grunty any day. She really takes my breath away. <coughs> yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd as I flick a booger. Err, uh, but there is this girl. What do you mean? This cannot be. There's no one prettier than me. Why, it's Tootie, young and small. She's the prettiest girl of all. No, 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 no. You must be mad. Nicer beauty can't be had. Unfortunately, I think you'll find it's Tootie. She's cute and kind. Awkward pause. Well, we'll see about that! Hi there, Tootie! What are you gonna do today? When my big lazy brother wakes up, we're going on an adventure! This text cannot move any slower. Wake up! I want to go on an adventure too! If Toadie thinks she's fairer than me, I'll steal her looks, and ugly she'll be! Is that your brother? Where, Mr. Mole? I can't see him! Up there in the sky! I don't think so, who is that? Come to me, my little pretty. You'll soon be ugly. What a pity! Let me go, you ugly old hag! Don't scratch and bite, my little bear. You'll soon need bigger underwear! <laughs> oh no, she's got her! Somebody, help! Banjo, wake up, now! Yawn. What do you want, Kazooie? Let's get outside! There's trouble! And now we can actually begin the game! Let's head outside! What's going on? Alright, come on, take your time getting out of that hole there, Mr. Mole. Listen up, I'm Bottles, the short-sighted mole. I'm Banjo, and this here's my buddy Kazooie. Sir is a strange looking buddy, Banjo. Can it talk? Better than you can, Goggle Boy. What was all that noise about? Where's my sister Tootie? The ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. 
Calm down, Geeky. We'll get her back. Where did she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. It's really dangerous, so you'll probably need some training before you go up there. Oh no, we're gonna be rhyming. Press A if you want me to teach you some basic moves, or press B if you think you're already good enough. I'm already good enough, but for the sake of the video, we're gonna accept his training. We'd like some help, Bottles. What do we do? Explore this area and look out for my molehills. Stand next to them and press X to call me. See you soon. All right. So we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and have to find all of his molehills. The first of which is actually right up ahead here. All right, we'll go ahead and press X on it, and Bottles will pop back out. Er, uh, anyone home? Hello again. Let's start with the camera controls. They're on the right stick. Geez, that's nothing special. Try this then, Beaky. Tap the right or left bumper to move the camera behind Banjo. Is that all, Worm Breath? No, hold the right or left bumper to keep the camera behind your feathery butt. Try it out. I'll see you at the next molehill. All right, so we've got camera controls down. Camera controls down, and you've got a, a, the, you know, follow from behind thing. I don't use that often. I use the camera controls a lot, but not the bumper thing, so... Uh, yeah, if you're playing on the N64, you won't have as fluid controls. It'll be more segmented like this. Which, I get, it's got advantages and disadvantages and stuff, so... I mean, I, I mean, it, it's your choice. I just prefer HD. Hmm, your jump could do with some help. Pa! what do moles know about jumping? More than you, press A to jump and hold it to jump higher. Alright, there we go, jump. Come on, feathers. You can give him a hand. Why? I'll look silly, I know it! Jump, then press A again in the air for a double jump. So, we can go ahead and press A, and then A again. That's it, we are ready to move on! Not until you learn this one. First, you must stand like this. What, wearing ridiculous glasses and a silly grin? I'm not listening. Hold the right or left trigger, then press A for the mighty flat flip jump. Boom. We did it. That's all the jumps. Keep practicing. Alright, now each move that he teaches us is going to result in our ability to gain a new honeycomb piece. And as we're about to learn, honeycomb pieces are new segments of life. Collect six honeycomb pieces. Six or so, yeah, six of us. And uh, we will earn one more energy bar, and so we'll have one extra uh, hit for damage, which is pretty nice. All right, let's go ahead and talk to this molehill. Talk to the molehill. Fancy learning to swim underwater? Ooh, sounds difficult, and I'll get my fur wet. Come on, Banjo, I want to swim. Spill the beans, Specky. Use the left stick to swim on the surface. To swim underwater, press X to dive. Go on, give it a try. All right, so hop in the water. And you, by default, stay above. By pressing X, I'll press X when I have the proper opportunity, we will uh, be able to dive underwater. And this will also give us another honeycomb piece, which is why I'm trying to find where it's at. Well, I swam all the way around. Okay. So you press X and you go underwater. Alright, so you can hold down X while you're underwater to constantly swim, or you can hold down A to slowly kick. Uh, the X is preferable. You can sort of use a, a combination of X and A in order to get some pretty good directioning underwater because that is sort of something that it lacks in, in terms of- Oh, get, get out of here. In terms of controls, so, uh, that is pretty, uh, nice, I guess. Anyways, let's head over here and we can use our new flap, flapping double jump to get us another, uh, health extension honeycomb piece. And there's an extra life back there. All right, head this way. And let's go ahead and find another molehill to talk to. I see one just there in the distance, so let's go ahead and get over to him. Hey, Banjo, I hope you're not afraid of heights. I'm not. Tell me about flying, Root Muncher. Not yet. Banjo, jump onto a tree, then use the left stick to climb up or down. All right, simple enough. Bad thing is you can't actually skip this if you want to, you know, learn the actual moves. All right, so you can see there's a honeycomb piece there based on climbing a tree. Um, you can't skip the... If you chose to, to, you know, take help from bottles, you can't even skip all of the stuff. So if you if you want to save time, you want to definitely skip those tutorials. Particularly if you're speedrunning this game, which is a pretty popular thing to do. Especially for this game, because it's a platformer, it's pretty easy to... You know, there's not a ton of uh, random stuff you have to worry about. All right, let's talk to this guy. Same guy every time. Man, he sure is fast. My beak bar to tag needs the help of old chicken legs. At least I've got some legs, short stuff. 
Hold the right or left trigger, then press X for a powerful beaky barge. All right, so we're gonna come up to these rocks and attack them. <clears throat> See, Banjo? She is useful for something. I'm trying this move out on you next, Jam Jars. All right, so you wanna take out each of these rocks, and on the last rock, it won't matter what order you do it in, uh, because it will always be the last rock. You will receive your honeycomb piece. And there we go, we are at five honeycomb pieces. We've only got one more till we complete a new uh, health like extension, I guess. All right, so let's talk to bottles one more time. Banjo, it's time for you to learn the claw swipe attack. What is it? I must know. Simply press X when standing still or moving slowly. Sounds good. What can I try it out on? Well, how about bird brain? Just try it, bottle boy. Only kidding, let me find something with a challenge. Ah, there's Topper. Whack him, Banjo. Well, that's rude. Either way, this move is pretty... You pretty much never use it. Because, I mean, you can just do different attacks and things that are much better than this move. So I don't know why it's even here. Wow, nice one. Try another. Hey, I want some moves. Shut up, Kazooie. Alright, come here, you. Why can I not attack you? There we go. Now try my fearsome forward roll. I want to learn to fly now. Roll by running and pressing X. I'll see if I can find ball for you to practice on. This is a much more useful move. It's actually helpful in terms of moving around the level and also uh, attacking enemies. Bullseye, one more. Stop rolling, I feel sick. All right, let's keep rolling then. Perfect. It's time for the buzzer to learn a trick. It had better be a good one, Squinny. Try out the rat attack rap by jumping and pressing X in the air. Now where's Collywobble? Freaking Collywobble. There we go. That is also a very uh, useful move. Mm, not bad, Featherface. Give me another. Bogey eye, or bog eyes, I guess. And there we go. There is our sixth and final honeycomb piece, and we've earned an extra life. All right, meet me at the top of Spiral Mountain, and I'll tell you what to do next. So, let's go ahead and head over there. Freaking Spiral Mountain, let's do it. And so now all these enemies are around. They will all drop health. The interesting thing about health, it will be a full honeycomb piece, by the way, is if you leave it here, as long as you don't turn off the game, it will stay there for pretty much ever. Which is actually really neat. So if I were to stay here, never turn off my game, I could go all the way to the final boss, come back, and that honeycomb piece would still be sitting there. Alright, where is- there's a bridge. Which is actually really neat. They obviously- they fixed this in the sequel, banjo Tui, which is kind of uh, disappointing, but at the same time, I, I don't know, it's kind of endearing for Banjo-Kazooie to have that kind of uh, ability, which is pretty interesting. I, I don't know, it's like, you know, not a lot of things can be, stay in the memory of an N64 game. Crap. But, for some reason, the location of the health pieces that we dropped can. So it's pretty, pretty weird. Regardless, I'm gonna try and get up this mountain this time. And head over to... There we go. Get up here. Ah, there we go. Speedrunning tactic that actually took more time to get up there than actually just going the normal way. What's up, bottles? Well done, guys. You're ready to tackle the witch now. We sure are. Show us the way, Bottle Boy. I fixed the bridge so you can cross it and enter Gruntilda's lair. Thanks, Bottles. Look out for me inside. Good luck. All right. So next time on Let's Play Banjo Kazooie, we are going to enter Grunty's Fortress. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Have a fantastic day.